Hey guys, uh, we wanted to talk about an energized vehicle. Now, initially we talked about taking the Jeep of Justice and crashing it into the high voltage power line, except for that would be expensive and, and stupid, quite frankly. It is a huge hazard to have a vehicle that becomes energized through a car hit pole, through wire down, etc. So we wanted to simulate that so our customers know how the SafeGuard Compass uh, works and how it will work in detecting whether or not a vehicle has become energized. So in today's test, what we got is we got our, our transformer. This is a 15 kV uh, transformer. It only puts out about 30 milliamps, which is why we like to use it for a lot of our videoing. It's not enough current to necessarily create ventricular fibrillation, but it would still really suck to come into contact with it. Um, and then for our, our source here, we're going to actually use the inverter in Brandon's Jeep, we're intentionally using a really small level of energy here in order to demonstrate just how effective this works. Now everything you see on this video will just be magnified if it was an actual power watt line with, with a much bigger source than the 400 watt source we've got to work with here. So check this out. I'm going to plug this in real quick and then we'll do a walk up on the Jeep of Justice. Okay, so now I'm plugged in. And as I walk forward towards the Jeep of Justice, if it's energized, my safeguard compass should do its job and let me know that I've got an energized vehicle here. So you notice that my directionality is working, my indication works. I know I've got an energized vehicle right now. Folks, this month is Electric Safety Month. We here at Safeguard Compass uh, would like to urge you to take the time to be extra safe. Follow all of your relevant OSHA safety regulations. Observe safe work practices and use the world's best personal voltage and current detector, the Safeguard Compass.